Mr. Santa brought me this red box straight from his workshop. If you want to see what's in the box, hit that like and subscribe now. Handheld consoles, you either love them or hate them, and to be honest, I have always been on the side of not liking them that much. Probably because I have never seen the point of playing on a go. When I usually leave the house, I tend to drive my car or work out in the gym, or do some acrobatics with my girlfriend. That wasn't supposed to sound dirty. Here's a quick clip of me doing my thing. Standard for standard. Anyways, none of those situations give me any free hands or time to do anything else. And when I'm back home, I play on a console or on my phone, tablet or PC. Where the heck can I fit a portable gaming console? Well, Santa wasn't aware of my imposition and still left this Nintendo Switch under my Christmas tree. And we had a lovely Christmas tree this year. Thus, I decided to unbox this and add a few games on top of it to make, uh, you know, any use of this device. And I'm sure that most of my friends now being uh, uh, proud owners of Nintendo handhelds didn't help the matters either. I kind of felt that this had to be something cool, otherwise they wouldn't have bought it. So after doing some googling, I noticed that Santa knew exactly what to bring because that is a version 2, and version 2 is better than 1. This tiny 01 marks the version 2. Its battery lasts almost twice as long compared to the version 1. Amazing! The box contains everything you need plus some, even this fancy dock for connecting your device to your TV. A fancy controller thingy where you can attach your Joy-Cons. One thing I don't understand is uh, that why those analog sticks need to be on different heights. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Now one of the best reasons to get Nintendo Switch, at least for me, is all about exclusives. Super Mario, Zelda games and you know, other stuff. And connecting it all to your TV whilst you have assembled this controller-like device, you can basically use this as a normal gaming stick while enjoying exclusive titles. Fantastic! All in all, I'm still starting to experiment with this device and I'm not sure how it feels, what kind of caveats I might encounter, or will the online subscription fee uh, be the final straw that breaks the camel's back? I can promise you this, that I will try to make reviews of some exclusive games on this device as well. I can give out my honest opinion in about two weeks. Now, regarding the games, yes, I got Witcher. So for me, it's a Nintendo Switcher. Nintendo Switcher, the best the money can buy. I love Witcher games and it was reminded me again with the show on Netflix. I binge watched this in two days. Henry Cavill really goes above and beyond with this role, and I suggest you to watch it as well. Toss a coin to your Witcher. But yes, I know that I have bought already Witcher collection for my PlayStation 4 as well. But you know what? You can never have enough Witcher. What I love about those collections is that you actually get a full Quent card game with both of those DLC sets. And that is the reason why physical editions are better. I occasionally just go and inappropriately touch my collections on the shelf and sniff them just to make sure that they are there. Okay. Now that sounded a bit dirty, but you know what I mean. Switch version of Witcher came with a game map as well and some stickers. And you know, I'm, I'm really happy about that. They actually went, went as far as adding it all into this awesome collection set. And of course I bought Zelda as well. You know, you, know, you, you need to have Zelda if you have a Switch console. So I am off now to play some Switch and to bring you some fantastic new videos this year about Legos, PS4 games, funny orders from eBay and Amazon, lots more collection videos, PS5 release covering and unboxing of course. Also we might explore some retro games so make sure to hit that like, smash that bell and if you dare subscribe as well. Please also dig into my reviews as well. I'm Silly Lamas and thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.